What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Ripping Packs. It's Monday. And Mondays, well, we've been opening up boxes, preferably blaster boxes of cards. Um, it's not gonna be any different today. We're gonna stick with the blaster boxes. What sport? Well, I got football, got some basketball, but we're gonna stick with baseball. We're gonna get to open some Panini Contenders, the non-licensed baseball product that's available out there. Now, I have opened Chronicles on the channel, and honestly, I kind of liked it. I'm not gonna lie. It sounds pretty weird. I did like Chronicles. Um, wish they had the logos, wish they had the team names and all that stuff, but I gotta admit, Tops needs some competition. And one day, maybe in the year 2029, they might get it. So, who cares? Let's open this up and we'll find out what we get in a second. I'm Craig Michelson. I'm an actor and a filmmaker and I just got back into the hobby after a 15 year hiatus. I collected at the worst time to collect. But it was also the Northwest Territory account manager for Excel, putting cards and collectibles into stores such as Target, Shopco, and Fred Meyer. I also worked in minor league baseball for a few seasons. Don't think, just you know. Join me as I reconnect with the hobby one pack at a time. Now let's go rip some packs. All right, everybody, so here we got 2020 contenders. We have six packs of five cards. We are guaranteed, well, not guaranteed, but we're going to find one autograph per box on average. So we're going to pull an autograph? Hey, that'd be cool. <laughs> you know, let's see what else we can have. Uh, there's six season ticket green cards and one draft ticket green parallel again per box on average plus all the other stuff the panini tells you you might get but they don't give you any odds that's just what they do so you know what let's go ahead and crack this open and see what we get oh and be sure to like subscribe and hit that notification bell and then you can watch me open more stuff yeah that's right it's free yeah i'm not even gonna do well i'm patreon who knows i mean come on seriously but maybe I'll do a Patreon down the road. I don't know. You know, let's let's we'll talk about that down the road. But either way, it's still free and it's for you. Guess what? We're opening this right now on Ripping Packs. All right, first time for Panini contenders. All right, our poster boys are we have uh, Brendan McKay, Luis Robert, and Gavin Lux. And in the box we have got Panini contenders. Who do you collect? Yeah. All right. Let me turn this around. We have six, count them, six gold packs ish with five cards. You know what? We are going to start from the back. This card right here. All right. Here we go. Pack number one on ripping packs. All right, we have got Kristen Yelich, game 28, whatever that means, for the Brewers, or I should say Milwaukee, because it's a Panini product. Legally, I'm not allowed to say the team name, and you know, they could get sued or I could get sued, I don't know, but either way, Kristen Yelich of Milwaukee. Minor hit. And then we have Zach Greinke of Houston with another season ticket card. And then we have Mike Clevenger of the Indians, now of the Padres. Then we have a green card variation of Shane Beaver, the Cy Young Award winner for this season. So that's a nice little hit. I mean, it's a green, I'm, you know, obviously that's their green is kind of their flavor of the month right now with a lot of these cards, with a lot of these uh, sets. And the last card in the pack is a Future Stars. Does Tops have that license? I don't know. Future stars of Ryan Mountcastle, who I will say they probably enjoyed putting this card out because Tops only has an update version of Ryan Mountcastle because they're saving all of the rookies for series one of 2021. But anyway, Ryan Mountcastle, who had a good year for the Orioles. So there we go. Um, that's uh, pack number one. Pack number two. Here we go. We've got Yadier Molina for St. Louis Cardinals. Okay, I'm just gonna keep saying the team name because that's just what I do. I don't give a crap about the other stuff. Wearing that really cool ass blue, that light blue, baby blue, powder blue. I'll find nine different ways to say blue. Uniform for the Cardinals. 
Then we have Nelson Cruz of the Twins. Then we have a green, a green, uh, it's a numbered card of Joey Votto, number 100 out of 299. Okay. Wish it was a different red, but hey, whatever. It's, I mean, if there's any Joey Votto fans out there, hit me up because I'm definitely down. I've pulled some decent Vottos lately for some reason. I'm definitely interested in trading them if you, if you want them. So anyway, Joey Votto, number 100 at 29. That's pretty cool. If I'm a Votto fan. It's going in the hit pile. And then we have Eduardo Rodriguez, who just re-upped with the Red Sox, even though he missed the entire season due to COVID. And then we have, and that's a, that's a PC hit, because that's he's a Red Sox. And then we have future stars of Nate Pearson, one of the top prospects, uh, top pitchers for the Blue Jays, who is going to probably be their ace, if not their number two pitcher. So there we go. That's a future star for the, uh, for the Blue Jays. Pack number three, ripping packs. Here we go. We have got Kettle Marte for the Diamondbacks. Then we have Charlie Morton for the Rays, who is now on the Braves. He just signed that little, uh, Braves are gonna have a scary pitching rotation, I will tell you that much right now, and Morton only strengthens them. Then we have Hun Jun Ryu, the current ace for the Blue Jays. Then we have another one of those green variations of Josh Hader for the Brewers. And then we have Sandy Koufax, legendary. Um, that's a PC hit, and honestly, I'd love to get some more Sandy Koufax cards. Um, they're a little expensive. This sure as hell isn't, but the real ones, the good ones, are expensive. So anyway, that's it's a nice little, it's in the PC pile. Pack number four. We still haven't pulled that autograph, I'll tell you that much. It's pretty evident we haven't pulled it. Here we go. Pack number four, if I can open you, jeez. God, Panini, your, your packaging is ugh, horrendous. Here we go. We have got Luis Castillo of the Reds. Then we have got Shane Bieber, another Shane Bieber here for the Indians. Charlie Blackman for the Rockies. Albert Pujols, the machine with another one of those green uh, foil piece insert thingies. And then we have first rounders, Zach Veen for Colorado. He was a first round draft pick by the Rockies this year. I want to say out of, well, let me see if it says here on the back of the card. Uh, yeah, he's got a friendship with Brendan Rogers, the uh, infielder uh, utility guy for the Rockies. So it doesn't say where, but I know he's a first rounder. Um, I'll put below who, where he's, you know, where he went and all that good stuff, but that's a hit. That's a hit that he's kind of the reason you would buy this. I'm not buying the draft pick cards. I'll tell you that much. I'm buying the Bowman draft, which if you watch Friday's episode, you'll see I did get some of those. So that's going in the uh, rookie hit pile. Pack number five of contenders. All right. Still looking for that autograph. Here we go. We've got Manny Machado wearing that flashy, flashy, fancy brown for the Padres. Then we have Anthony Rendon for the Angels, last season's big free agent acquisition. Who are the Angels going to sign this year? I don't know, but that would be a good choice. They kind of need the pitching. Then we have Fernando Tatis. Nice. We got a, uh, that's a definite hit. He's Fernando. Uh, so he's going into the hit pile. My hit pile's kind of crappy, I'm going to be honest with you. I just got Yelich in it. So, whatever. Then we have Nelson Cruz with the green foil. So, eh, whatever. They're going in the minor hits. And the last card of the pack is Game Day with Francisco Lindor for the Indians. All right, so down to one last pack. It should be the hot pack, as the term terminology is. Hot pack here, right here. Should be getting that autograph. If I don't, then some other asshole out there has my autograph in his box. And that would just suck. I mean, it's cool for him. For me, not so much. Because that's kind of the one reason you buy these damn boxes. Up your butt, Joe Boo. Pack number six, final pack of 2020 Panini Contenders. Here we go. Pack number 
All right, we got Justin Verlander of the Astros. Hall of Famer in the future. And then we have Eduardo Escobar for Arizona Diamondbacks. Some of these guys, I know what team there are, what team they're on, but some of them, like, I don't know, maybe he's on that team. Escobar? Are you shitting me? Okay, I was talking to a bunch of buddies of mine who I haven't gotten any panini, content, any panini points, and guess what I just pulled? 150. So in lieu of an autograph, I got this. Man, that sucks! Why? This won't get me jack squat. Harris already on the Panini site, because my, my buddy Eric, we were talking about it. He's got like 4,600 Panini points to use. 150 Panini points. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, I probably shouldn't show you that, but whatever. But I, either way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That, ugh. Hunjin Ryu, green foil. Hmm. And the last card of the pack is up and coming Luis B. Garcia for the Nationals. Yeah, so uh, whoever he is, actually, let me, for most part, Washington's 20 car rush team to get the team one or whatever. I'm not going to read it. I'm actually a little, little pissed right now about getting this, uh, the Panini points. 150 points in lieu of an autograph. So that's really not that cool, Panini. Could have given me a little scratch off that you know a certain player you want to get in the future. Um, that is really, really not cool. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so there you have it, Panini Contenders 2020. Um, you having fun yet? Oh yeah, I'm having a blast. Thanks. Good. I'm honestly kind of pissed about this plaster box. I'm not gonna lie. Um, a couple little things here and there, but realistically, the auto would always be the thing, the best thing to come out of there. And not one autograph was pulled and said you get really cool panini points, which are going to be worthless to me. In fact, I'm probably just going to give this to a friend. But you know, I mean, 150 points, that doesn't do much for me. I mean, especially when this is the first time I've got it, and looking on the list, there's not a lot of guys to choose from, especially, you know, with 150, I mean, come on, maybe I'll get myself a offensive lineman common, you know, that's maybe signed, you know, from 19, uh, 1987 in the junk wax era. Sure, Panini was doing stuff overseas, but no, not cool. So you know what, Panini Contenders 2020, if you're looking for something to rip, buyer beware. If you're looking for an autograph, buyer definitely beware. Um, if you're looking for some cool cards, I don't know. I mean, honestly, I, I didn't, this kind of sucked. I'm gonna be brutally honest with you. But hey, it is what it is. I'm gonna get off my soapbox, be back to normal, be, yeah, there you go. So thank you so much for watching Ripping Packs. That subscribe button, just give it a push. Yeah. That like button, yeah, just, just give it a push. Yeah. The notification bell, do what you want. So peace out. Thank you again for watching and I will see you tomorrow on Tuesday.